So it's always a hard question when the math teacher comes up and says, why do I care about digital storytelling? And one of the first things to talk to math teachers about is the Khan Academy, if they're not aware of that, uh, which is a free website where um, a gentleman has now recorded something like over 1,800 little explanations of different kinds of problems, how to share those. You know, screencasting is not digital storytelling, but it is a way of communicating. I don't know, maybe it is digital storytelling. That's a, a word that's definition maybe is up for grabs. Um, we remember stuff in stories, and that's probably one of the most important things. If I can situate something that I want my students to learn, if I can challenge them to situate something in a real world context and it involves a story, then it's going to be something that will be stickier with them and help them see the relevance of what they're talking about and also maybe understand it. I think we have a real important need to not just talk about math in an abstract sense, but in a real world sense. And so helping students find math and see math and talk to people who use math out in their jobs and their professions is a really critical thing. If I'm going to be motivated to do well in math, I need to see how it's important to me. And I ought to see role models that are valuing math because it's part of their job and what they need. So I think there's a lot of good work that we can do with video and digital storytelling. You know, screencasting the way to work problems like they do on the Khan Academy, which is a nonprofit and it's completely free, is one example. But bigger picture, I think we need to help kids connect with math in the real world outside of the classroom. And that's where like the flip camera you've got in your hand can be in the hand of the student and they can interview, talk to different folks. We, we only have limited numbers of people we get to work with and uh, get influenced by in person, but through video, there's a whole world out there that we can be influenced by. And our students might be the ones who go and get those stories and then watch the stories and listen to the stories that other students capture too.